Welcome to Stonewatch. This is my open spoiler discussion for Marvel Studios Hawkeye Episode 4. And if you haven't already, please smash the subscribe button and click on that bell so you can notify of your future videos. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And wow, man, Episode 4 for the Hawkeye series has dropped. And I gotta say, it was pretty damn good. Now, I'm not gonna say it was my most favorite episode of the series so far, but it is up there. I mean, we only get six episodes for this series, and so far we've had four. And now we're down to the, like the last two. So a lot of stuff has got to come to a close here in the last two episodes. And I'm kind of hoping, I'm hoping that it's going to have a longer runtime. Now we had a runtime of 41 minutes this week. Now again, you minus out all that other stuff. We're only with 30 minutes worth of storytelling. And there was no credit scene either. So, which I kind of figured there wasn't going to be one. I mean, if there is going to be one, it's probably going to be next week. And it's going to set up whatever comes to the conclusion in episode Six. I mean, this was pretty damn good. Now, if you remember, last week we were left off with Jack Duquesne holding Clint at bay with his own Ronin sword. Now, when we come back into this episode, he's still doing it. And then the mom shows up. And the next thing you know, they're sitting at a kitchen table having a conversation. Now, part of this conversation was in one of the first two trailers that dropped a couple months ago. I can't remember which one it was offhand. So, But this was cool to see it totally fleshed out. And it was pretty damn funny. Right. And like how like, you know, um, Jack, you know, thanked Hawkeye for saving the world. He's like, yeah, don't mention it. And then it was decided that, you know, Kate's going to stay and you got to go. And then when the mom pulls Hawkeye off to the side and say, hey, you can't involve my daughter in like, this superhero adventure type stuff. You know what I mean? And then he's like, OK, I understand. And then she brings up Black Widow. You can see in his face that, hey, that kind of hurt, you know, and then. After she asked him, are you going to let this case go? And he's like, I, I can't do that. I can make sure your daughter stays out of it, but I got to stay on this thing. And after Hawkeye leaves, she makes a phone call. Now, a lot of people online are speculating that she called Kingpin or somebody connected to Kingpin, right? And then I also saw some other people speculating that maybe, just maybe, it's Kate's dad is Mr. Cufflinks. I didn't really think that, but if you really think about it, we didn't see a body, right? I mean, if the, the aliens attacked and stuff like that, the next thing you know, dad's gone we didn't actually see him die right i mean we just assumed that he did because you know they had a funeral for him and everything but we actually did see him pass away so that's a possibility now i really did like the whole christmas tree decorating scene and them getting kind of joking around and he did that trick with the ornament and he turned off the tv that was pretty damn cool and then he teaches her how to do that trick now it wasn't like exactly like the same thing but it was pretty impressive that she caught on so quick so that was kind of cool and then the conversation that they had prior to and he actually told you know was talking about like when he was supposed to take out black widow and he couldn't do it and then it was like the best thing he ever did and you could see how it hurt him to talk about her and stuff like that and man that's like one of the things about this series that i do like because we're actually getting to see more about hawkeye now again like i keep saying the hawkeye character that i'm really familiar with for the most part outside of the mcu is like the comics that i've read back in like the late 80s and early 90s and it's not this guy i mean the comic book storyline that this one's actually kind of based off of i never read that book but i'm kind of gonna go check that out because a lot of that stuff is actually getting into this series and i'd kind of like to see from that perspective you know what i mean because like we actually get to see the larpers again and a couple of the characters that are part of the larper crew are actually from that comic book story also they're not exactly the same they kind of reimagined them a little bit but it's kind of basically the same and i thought it was kind of cool that they, they actually brought them back in i don't know if they're actually going to bring them back in again in the next two episodes maybe just maybe uh, hopefully they don't get hurt now one of them was a police officer and she, they got her to go get the trick arrows now i mean that's not really good be being a good cop i mean whatever i mean it kind of it fit the narrative hopefully she gets her bag back right but again i did like this episode i thought it was really cool the fight scenes between hawkeye and maya and then elena finally makes her appearance in this series i thought that was pretty damn cool and she didn't really no talking i mean she was all nothing but business and but then Hawkeye realized, hey, I got a Black Widow assassin now. So he's like, whoa, this is getting really serious, like really quick. And that's when he tells Kate, you got to go. You know, so I don't know, man. We got two more episodes left. And again, we only had a 41 minute runtime. So I'm hoping like the next two episodes are you max them out because this was supposed to be anywhere from 45 to 55 minutes. And the only time we got came close to that was like the first two episodes. I mean, ever since episode one, the runtime has just been going down. Now we're at that point to where we got so many things that they've got to tie up here by the end of this series. 
because I don't, it, this thing's listed as a mini series. So it's not supposed to be like continue on after this. You know, I've seen a couple video thumbnails on YouTube where like, hey, there's a promo for episode five. And I didn't click on it, man, because I'm waiting for episode five to actually come out. I want to see it then. I mean, I don't want to watch any more promos or any trailers. Hey, this is what's going to happen. Plus, the tra uh, channel I saw it on, I don't know if I can really trust it. You know what I'm saying? I've gotten burned way too many times with fan-made trailers, and they're really good. I mean, they, I'm like, I had me convinced. I mean, they really fooled me like a time or two. But again, I didn't click on it. I mean, what I saw on the thumbnail, I'm going, man, is that real? And I wanted to click on them, but I didn't trust the channel it was on so i was like i'll wait and then there was that interview that kevin feige did the other day saying that if they have daredevil in the mcu it's going to be charlie cox so he's kind of confirmed that that's going to be our guy because like why would he already have like a name already picked out i mean so that tells me that it's going to happen when it's going to happen most people are speculating that we're probably going to see charlie cox in no way home i bet mean, we can actually see him in this show for that matter right i mean again i don't know man I mean, and then we find out that, you know, Jack is like, he's the CEO for the Sloan company. And I believe I heard somewhere or read somewhere that that was like a shell company, Kingpin. So like, there's another tie into Kingpin right there too. So I don't know, man, this show is getting kind of good. The first two episodes weren't too bad. I mean, I seen some people like dogging them and stuff like that. I kind of liked it. It was kind of setting this up the way it was. And I don't mind them like telling Kate's backstory in the first episode or two because I kind of liked it because it allowed me to get to know the character without actually, you know, going and reading the comic book story that she's in. Same thing with Echo. We had that whole entire episode, where, well, not the whole entire episode, but the beginning of that episode gave her backstory too. Now, she's supposed to be getting her own series on Disney Plus also. And so far, I mean, I think she's kind of interesting. So I kind of like to see series with her being like the main character but at one point she's supposed to switch over into trying to be a good guy and so far she's more focused on getting revenge so i don't know and hawkeye still needs to make it home for christmas right now i think we only got like we got two more episodes left so we only have two more days left to go until christmas i mean is he gonna make it i mean is he gonna make it in time to be home for christmas with his family and what the hell is up with that watch now i saw a couple breakdown videos that saying like it could be like a key to a vault in stark tower it sounds kind of crazy right and it but he did say something because i've watched the episode like three times now he did say something along like, if they get a hold of that watch it would compromise one of his old team members or something like that it would compromise him and then he could possibly get killed so i'm not sure if that actually means I'm not really sure so let me know in the comments down below if you do i mean so i don't know man i do like this show now it's really starting to get really good i mean now it's really starting to get good and like the next two episodes we're gonna have so much more so much to cover i mean maya is still out there and now we've got elena is coming into play here too you know she's going to show up again i'm kind of wondering how that's going to play out and is she going to actually talk to clint is she actually going to say anything on why she's there you know what i mean and do you think that we'll see julia louise dreyfus reprise her role let me know in the comments down below i don't know man we'll just have to wait and see where it goes so did you watch the fourth episode of hawkeye let me know in the comments down below where does this one rank with you with the other episodes we've gotten so far let me know in the comments down below. What do you think about this series as far as compared to the other ones we've gotten so far? Let me know in the comments down below. I mean, I do like this series, and now it's really starting to heat up, and I can't wait to see what they do next. So let me know what you think in the comments down below.